During World War I, the German government inflated their money supply. As such, prices of goods, including the price of milk, began to rise. In response to the rising prices, however, the German government decided to establish a maximum price by which milk can be sold. That, in turn, created a shortage of milk. In response to the shortage of milk, the government had to increase their intervention in the economy to control things like uh, the price at which meat could be sold, the price at which fodder could be sold to try and force those prices back down. But in order to do that, then they, had to disco they discovered they had to control how much people had to be paid in order to make the fodder, to feed the cows, to get the milk. You see, when the government intervenes, it doesn't do so with precision. The government has fat thumbs and it pushes the wrong buttons unintentionally. They wanted to help people to be able to afford their milk. Instead, they created a shortage and ended up with what was called the Hindenburg Plan, where the central planners ultimately controlled every part of the economy, a system that continued until the end of the war and was taken up again later when another man came to rule in Germany soon after.